characteristics of liquid pressure. The deeper the liquid, the faster the liquid spurts out. Okay, he's, he's talking about this experiment, okay? So these experiments, we have a container and then we make three holes at the container. We found that the hole at the lowest, the, the lowest hole, okay? The water spurts the furthest, okay? It goes the furthest compared to uh, the other two holes, okay? And uh, the highest hole, okay? Uh, it spreads the the closest to the container. Okay, so from this experiment, we can conclude that the deeper, the deeper inside a liquid, the the higher the pressure. So deeper it has higher pressure, and shallower it has a uh, lower pressure. So the conclusion, eh? the pressure in a liquid increases with depth. The deeper inside the liquid, the higher the pressure. Okay, yeah? so these experiments tell us that uh, pressure increase increases with depth. Uh, shape, size, and area. Pressure in liquid does not depend on the shape of the container. You see here we have three container with different shape. You see the, the height of the liquid is the same eh? okay? for these three container. Okay? It means that the depth at these three points are the same. Since the depth are the same, eh? So therefore the pressure are the same at the bottoms. Even though these three container has different shape, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. And also you can see that uh, the area is not the same. Huh? This one has a smaller area. This one has a, this is a bigger area, okay? But still, the pressures will be the same. The pressures of the liquid will be the same at the bottoms of the container. That is the pressures of the liquid, huh? okay? If there are a pressure exerted uh, by this container on the table, if this is a table, okay, uh, then they will be different, eh? okay? Pressure except on the table and pressure in the liquid is not the same, eh? okay? I will discuss that later. So pressure in liquid does not depend on the shape eh, of the container. Big, small, okay, any shape. As long as the depth is the same, then the pressure is the same. Pressure in liquid does not depend on the size of the container, okay? Big container, small container, okay, these two, eh? Uh, the shape is the same, okay, shape is the same, but uh, this one is uh, much bigger compared to this one. But still, the pressure will be the same at the bottoms, as long as the depth of the water is the same. Eh? So pressures are the same at the bottoms, okay? So pressure does not depend on the size, it just does not depend on the shape. Pressure in liquid does not depend on the area of its surface. So we have two container, okay, and then we have two objects. A and object B, a yeah, two two different area. Okay, uh, A is uh, smaller than B. Yeah? Area A is uh, smaller than area B, but the pressure exerted on area A is the same as the pressure exerted on area B. It's the same. Okay, so pressure in liquid does not depends on the area of the surface. Bigger surface, smaller surface, the pressure is always the same. So, uh, so we can conclude that, uh, okay, pressure in liquid does not depend on the shape, it does not depend on the size, it does not depend on the total area or surface area, okay, of the object. Yeah, that's the conclusion that we can make. Uh, pressure depends on the vertical depth, okay. Now let's see these two examples, okay. So this one is vertical, this one is slanted, slightly slanted, okay. Um, if we compare the length of the liquid, uh, this one is longer, okay? The length of the liquid. The length of the liquid is this, eh? Okay, uh, let me write here, the length of the liquid. Okay, this is the length of the liquid. Eh? This is the length of the liquid. Uh, this is the length of the liquid. Let's say this is L2 eh? and this is L1. So in this case, L2 is longer than L1. Eh? L2 is longer than L1, but they have same vertical height. Okay, or vertical depth. The H is the same. H is the vertical depth. Eh? So pressure depends on the vertical depth. So even though these two water has different length, okay, different lengths, eh? but their pressure at A and B are the same. Pressure at A is equal to the pressure at B because they have same vertical depth or vertical height. So pressure depends on the vertical depth. It's not depends on the 
length of the water column. Okay, it's not depends on the length of the water column. It depends on the vertical depth. Huh? So pressure depends on the vertical depth, but not the length of the liquid column. Uh, that's very important for you to know. Eh? All points at the same level has same pressure. The levels of the pressures of a liquid in a container is always the same because for the given liquid, the pressure is always equal at the same level. Eh? This experiment, like if you make three holes at the same level, you will find that the distance where the water spurts out uh, are the same. Okay, the distance are the same. If this one is 2 cm, okay, if this one is 2 cm, then this must also be 2 cm, and this distance must also be 2 cm. This shows that uh, the pressures are the same. Okay, and this experiment also shows that uh, pressure at the same levels uh, are the same. Okay, because you see the levels of the water is the same, even though the surface area and the shape are not the same, but the levels are the same. This shows that the pressure are the same. If the pressure are not the same, if the pressure here is higher, it will push the liquid down. If you push the liquid down, then this level will be lower. Okay, but this is not the case. They always have the same levels at the same level. So this shows that their pressure is the same at same level. So liquid surface all at same levels. Eh? So all points at the same level has same pressure. Okay, as long as the pre the levels are the same, then the pressure are the same. Eh? Pressure does not. Okay, there's a typo here. Okay, does not depends on the surface areas of the object. Um, so we have two fishes here. As, as we uh, do the calculations in the previous examples, we found that at same levels their pressure are the same eh? even though uh, this fish is much bigger than this fish okay so pressure exerted on the small fish is equal to the pressure exerted on the big fish pressure acts in all directions eh? the pressure at any points of a liquid acts equally in all directions so the pressure act the left hand side the right hand side on top and uh, below eh? the pressure are always the same at the same point so pressure at any point, a liquid acts equally at all directions. Okay, pressures to the left, pressure to the right, pressures on top, pressures below are all the same eh? at same level. Okay.